hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to make a moisturizing black soap shampoo for your hair if you have natural hair or relaxed hair in with very simple steps and simple ingredients so first of all we need glycerin this is the humectant and the moisturizing agent we also need honey honey is the super super moisturizing agent in this black soap shampoo we need tea tree oil this one helps to stimulate hair growth and we need black soap i got this black soap from my village and the name of my village is Oguashuku in delta state so you need black soap you need as much as you want depending on the quantity you are making so i got a bowl and i added my black soap to the bowl then i got a cup of hot water some people use warm water but i use hot water so depending on the consistency you want your shampoo to come out as that's what depends your quantity of water i like mine to be a little liquidy so that's why i added a lot of water so i'm going to give this a very good stir to incorporate it into the liquid into the hot water and i'm going to let it sit for a while till all the soap is melted and the soap is cool like it's cold so i let it sit for a while it's all dissolved now and it's cold then i took my cup and i measured my honey i kind of measured one and a half of this cup and added it to the black soap now what normally black soap is very is super super drying if you just dilute it like that but by the time you add your honey and add your glycerin when you're done washing your hair your hair will be so soft so soft so after adding the honey i added one cup of glycerin for this measurement i kind of eyeballed it but if you guys want a standard measurement let me know so after adding the glycerin i add i kept i gave it a good stir again you can see i was i kept tilting the cup to make sure everything came out then i added my tea tree oil so tea tree oil apart from the fact that it stimulates the hair for follicles for growth it's also anti-fungal and antibacterial so it also helps to treat scalp issues so i added 10 drops of these also for fragrance as well so i added 10 drops of these and i gave the black soap one good large stir <laughs> then i grabbed my funnel and i poured it into the bottles you want to make sure these bottles are washed and sterilized before the day you want to use it i was even making a mess here like even with the phone i don't even understand myself <laughs> so when that was almost full i went ahead to the next bottle and i poured everything into it So this is what the black soap looks like it's very simple and very easy to make i'm going to show you the, how it foams on my hair so you have an idea how it works because it's really really super moisturizing so this is how it looks if you want it thicker you can add less water so i'm trying it out here you can see i'm very excited <laughs> and it defines my cause like i realized that before i used to make it without adding those things and my hair used to be super stripped and super dried but the moment i start adding these things my hair whenever i wash my hair and i'm done rinsing out the shampoo my hair comes back really soft and my curls are well defined you know when you add moisture to your natural hair it defines your curls your curls i don't know why i have problem with pronouncing r define your curls and your hair is just super soft and it prevents breakage so this is how to make a black soup shampoo you can try it out and let me know how it went if you're not subscribed to this channel please 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 subscribe to this channel it means a lot to me do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and do come back for more videos yeah watch my other videos as well thanks for watching i'll see you in the next bye Bye.